Vijay, I've got a friend that's getting set to go to Nepal, and what kind of cultural or religious customs or things like that that you think they would need to respect, uh, to be very aware of, so that they make sure they respect them, and it gives them a better a better uh, uh, relationship with the culture there. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, I have been in Nepal many times, and it is without a doubt probably my favorite place to go, and that's because the people are so amazingly kind and loving and accepting. It is a Hindu nation. It is the only Hindu nation in the world. And the the things that you really need to be aware of with Hindus is that we're not going to be eating beef. And if you're going to go to a Hindu temple, don't wear leather shoes. Try to be, probably that is the most thing. The other thing is there's some really interesting customs with children. You don't, you know how in our country we ruffle their hair? It's just kind of a, an affectionate thing to do. You don't do that there because that's where God resides and ruffling a child's hair is not an acceptable thing to do. So for the most part they are so accepting and so loving and giving that you don't have that problem there. I think if anything go and be gentle and, and be aware of the fact that they, they don't judge us so don't judge them. They're very very poor and don't flaunt your wealth. I, when I travel to places like that, I take my, used to when I was married, took my wedding ring off and wore a plain gold band. I don't wear jewelry when I go. If I do, it's, it's very subtle jewelry. Um, just be respectful of the fact that it is a very poor country. It's easy because they aren't a real sensitive, it's not like going to a country that has a lot of things that are forbidden, especially for women. They're really accepting and really giving. It's just a matter of being open and being loving and understanding that they're a very poor country. Good advice.